Well, the season has come to an end for Tennessee, and with all the shenanigans over the weekend of who's in the playoff, who's not in the playoff, the last 14 playoff, next year it's a 12 team playoff. You realize just how close Tennessee is. And oh, by the way, how about the bowl placement? We'll talk about that and much more coming up on the Volunteer Club Locker Room, powered by Spire Sports. This is the Players Show. So where, oh, where do we start on what was a crazy, crazy 24 hours? Mark Packer along with uh, Johnny Cash. Uh, sorry, Jason Swain <laughs> over there. Chris Brown is here tonight. What a crazy 24 hours. What a crazy 24 hours. I mean, the, the college football Final Four is here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to talk about. Five power conferences, four spots. This was bound to happen at some point. And it happened on the, the last, last year. time. Yep, yeah, yep. Somebody, somebody got left out. It was Florida State. So. The last time. Let's start with Tennessee, where Tennessee goes, and it's a great placement. Uh, first one to three wins this one uh, because Tennessee will play <laughs> Iowa. I don't know if you watch the Hawkeyes uh, in the Big Ten it championship. Was Have we seen a worse offense than Iowa? I, I mean, it was awful. It was, it was, it was like watching paint dry. I mean, it, it was, it was absolutely terrible. I um, was talking to, to Swain a little bit watching that game. It, it was hard to watch. Um, but it's a good matchup for us, and I think they went to the Big Ten Championship, so it's an opportunity for Tennessee to get another quality win versus opponent that won 10 games. Hey, no need to steal signs in this one if you're hardball. One quality win. It will be the first quality win if you look at in terms of beating a team ranked. You know, Tennessee beat Texas A&M, beat uh, South Carolina, beat Kentucky. Those teams right, right, not right, necessarily right. world beaters. So this will be an opportunity to beat a ranked opponent against uh, one of the best defenses in the country. And that's the thing. In all seriousness, this is one of the best defenses Tennessee will have faced. Yeah, I was. I mean, they're going to they're gonna be strong. They're going to try to get in our face. They have some big guys, guys that are going to push up and make, make Tennessee try to do some things and get them out of their comfort zone. So we're going to have to run the football. We're going to have to do the things that we need to do to be successful. But Iowa can play defense. They really can. So if you look at these comparisons here, you can see what Iowa's done, Swain. Uh, Iowa, these kids – Grow up lifting weights at the age of four or five. Like they're gonna, they're gonna be super strong. Okay. Uh, it's like the dude in the Little Giants putting the refrigerator on. <laughs> yes. his spike. Like, yes, like, like, like that's that's Iowa. Corn fed, yeah, yeah, yeah. big, strong guys yeah. in the trenches. Speed, eh, that's in Tennessee's favor. So, okay. gotta make sure that you play to your speed. All right, let's let's transition. We'll we'll get into more uh, of Tennessee Iowa as we go forward. But at the same time, all the the conversation was of the the situation of Florida State and Alabama. And I think what's interesting is is that you know our guys that are in tonight, Josephs and Eason, which is kind of funny, uh, talk about how in the world does Georgia, who I think would be favored over all four teams in the playoff, is is going to be Florida State in the Orange Bowl. I mean. I, you win 29 straight games. Nobody even talked about you, Georgia you, I mean, when they were talking about who made the Final Four. It's unbelievable. So, so how, how does Georgia get out? I mean, they, they missed a, a big opportunity to beat Alabama. Alabama obviously sneaks in, but Georgia, you, you feel bad for them. But in the same breath, who wanted to see a Georgia three-peat? Not me. <laughs> Swain doesn't feel bad. I don't feel bad for Georgia <laughs> at, at all. Uh, this, is, this is the snub bowl between Florida State. Uh, I know those players feel – uh, devastated that they did everything that they were asked to do. Yeah. They won every game they played in, uh, and they can't play for a championship. And then Georgia was number one all year long, the best team all year long, and they lost at the wrong time. So Unfortunately, Florida State's quarterback got hurt. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a kicker for them. It's that, a different that team. Just, it's a completely yeah. different team. And their second team quarterback got, got hurt. So, so they are playing true freshmen yeah. uh, against Louisville. But I'm, I am not sad for Georgia. Yeah, it was like playing Marcus Outson. So anyway, okay, so, so they're <laughs> – Low-hanging fruit. There are the two. Now, here's a go to the next graphic because what I wanted to, to look at is, is if it was a 12-team playoff, okay, these would be the matchups. And next year, it will be a 12-team playoff. Can you imagine Tennessee hosting a playoff game at Neyland Stadium in December? So you look at Oklahoma, Florida State, Ole Miss, Georgia, Penn State, Ohio State, Mississippi, well, that's, that's Ole Miss. That's yeah. not Mississippi State. That's Ole Miss and Oregon. Those would be your matchups if you had a 12-team playoff this year. I mean, we, we just looked at this before. That, that would be phenomenal. I mean, to, to have this many teams that, that can potentially play, and you got four teams that will get a bye as well, but 100%. to have a game in Neyland Stadium after the season I think would be just great for us. So we're looking forward to the 12-team playoff. Obviously, we got to get to where we can be in the in the mix to play for that. Would have been but there a year ago. 100% we would have been, and we would have had a home game. So, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah, I can I can tell Eason 
is fired up about being able to play in 12 team playoff because I can just out of my peripheral, I can see his leg bouncing up and down. Like he's fired up about. He's nervous, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to say he's hyped up about next year's oh, okay, okay, opportunity okay. to play in 12 team playoff. He's not nervous. Like he's a veteran at this stuff, man. He's a, this Joseph, is, this Joseph, is nothing. Joseph's has got a hat on, so you can't tell his emotions at all. But here, here's the go. thing that I will say is, is that going forward with the 12-team playoff, it does open things up immensely for a team like Tennessee, who's been sitting there with Georgia and Alabama in the way for how long? You know, at the end of the day, you, you can have a loss. You can have two losses and still be there. All you have to do is take care of the wins that you're supposed to win sure. and win one more of those games that you're not supposed to. So... That's the thing, something to look forward to, kind of with the schedule next year. Go and just take care of business and do what you need to do. You'll be there, and then you'll have an opportunity to play for a national championship. So I want to catch a break right here, and I want to have time before we go to the players to talk about what does Tennessee need to do in the offseason between now and next year to, to be in that 12-team playoff. One of the things you can do to contribute is be a part of the volunteer club, and that is scan the code that's on your screen and, and get all the benefits that are, the discounts, great Christmas presents, great Christmas presents, by the way, uh, that are available at the ball club. Scan the QR code and become a member today. Membership has gone from about 2,700 to 4,100 in the last few months. When we come back, we'll talk about how far is Tennessee away from being a part of a playoff. We'll talk about the bowl game. We'll bring the players in when we come back on the Volunteer Club Locker Room. The Volunteer Club Locker Room is brought to you by the Volunteer Club. Real Vol fans are members of the Volunteer Club, Food City, Exterior Home Solutions, Lincoln Memorial University, Glass Doctor, and Garza Law. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store, beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. Abraham Lincoln knew the power of an open door. He invited the public into the White House throughout his presidency because he understood open doors lead to new possibilities, new opportunities, and new discoveries. At LMU, our mission is to open doors for every student who comes here so they can become everything they're meant to be. Come discover how we can open doors for you. You know, life happens and damage to your home can be extremely stressful. That's why it's important to find someone who offers efficient, quality work with financing options. Exterior Home Solutions, they value not only family, but community. And they're who I call when life happens, and you should too. Reach for the power with Dynabody Fitness. New Dynabody equipment is manufactured right here in Tennessee and shipped all over the country. Custom built, rugged, and guaranteed for life. Visit Dynabody.com and experience the difference. I'm Coach Josh Heifel with Tyler and Will from the Sports Animal. For UT Info in the afternoon, no one does it like 99.1. From Josh and Swain through Tyler and Will, you're blanketed in an orange. No one covers the balls like 99.1, the Sports Animal. Your roof, it's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. All right, Garza Law Firm Play of the Week. Play of the Year. Was there a bigger play for Tennessee than this one? They needed something from special teams. D. Williams made it happen. And Tennessee picked up at the time. Very big win. The first two years here at Tennessee was all about the offense, right? Yep. Offense, offense, offense. This year, the defense was better than the offense. Yep. And the defense is what won this, won this football game. And then D. Williams making a big play on special teams kind of sealed the deal. It's always right. nice to get a special teams touchdown. Oh, that and nice. that was needed. Absolutely. That, that was game, needed. It was, it was much needed energy to the stadium. So you go into the offseason and there's, there's signing day. There's the portal. There's NIL. There's free agency. There's everything. <laughs> if, if you're Tennessee, number one place you're looking is where? Offensive line? Yes. I mean, I, I think, again, you got to sure up the offensive line to, to kind of get Nico ready to play. I think that's something that the Tennessee Vols are going to do. They're, they're going to have to get in the portal. They're going to have to see who's coming sure. back, see who's going to play. 
and do that. But that's something that we have to have to make sure that Nico's good. And again, I think the receivers, the receivers are going to be important as well. I was about to say, I think I'm going to lead you to that, Swain, in that is it, it would appear Tennessee would need a game-breaking wide receiver as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, that goes without being said. But, I mean, if you want to win in this conference, you, you got to shore up the trenches. you got to be better in offensive line. you got to be better in defensive line, more depth, uh, you know, more dominating yeah, there. But you obviously need to get some more explosive plays on the outside, too. Here's an interesting, and we have this question, this question I think, every year. You know, Deion Sanders made a, a statement. He said, look, the way we're going to attack this is not that he's super successful right now, <laughs> but sign five high school players and the rest of the players will come out of the portal. How do you how do you gauge what's the right formula? Honestly, the the, the portal I think is hurting high school kids. I mean, oh, well, it's, absolutely. It's, a, it's 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 not giving those kids an opportunity. Sure. I think, but but at the end of the day, when, when you have a, a good core of kids and, and you really don't have to go to the portal for for a core, I think that's what you're doing. When you want to go to the portal, you're trying to bring a guy in that can kind of help immediately. Plug right? and play. So it's a plug and play type yeah. thing. I think high school kids, you got to find those gyms, you got to find those three four stars that have time and that you can kind of push and to keep the next them. level what and you have to keep them and keep them from going somewhere else. What about the five stars? Can we get five stars? Oh, too? You can get those too. I mean, it's going to be a lot of them playing, you know, the next couple of weeks. But I think with the portal, you got to get guys who have multiple years. I think that's important. And then you have to get guys too. Some can be plug and play like Colin Castles yeah. was a plug and play yeah. guy. You can't have all your players plug and play guys. You got to yeah. have some guys who have, you know, three, two years of eligibility, but High school recruiting is, is always a foundation at the end of the day. That's, that's where you want to build your culture. We've got a couple of big ones in studio that you talk about, and I, and I love the partnership with Spire Sports to be able to get these guys, Bryce and Eason, Joshua Josephs, two guys that are going to be keys to Tennessee uh, for a while. Eason, I'll, st I'll start with you. Um, how important, this is, this is a dumb question, how important is the offseason for a guy like you <laughs> to work on your body, get yourself ready for the rigors of SEC play, now that you've been through it a time or two? Just going to off season, focusing on small details and trying to improve my game and just things like that. And just walk on, like I said, small details on like techniques and hands and footsteps and eyes and just knowing what to look for and how to get better. So just small things like this is going to help me major in the offseason. Okay. You know, Josh, you, you came in and you played early. So that, that was something that was important. We talked about that before the show. But how has playing early helped you? And not only mm -hmm. that, how is it helping you kind of with the younger guys that are coming in that are playing early? What kind of advice would you give those guys? Honestly, to those guys, I would just tell them to play confidently. And if you're going to mess up, do it going full speed. And that's what playing early really taught me. Just do everything confidently. And if you ever mess up, just let that play go on and don't think about it too much. Yeah, Swain did a lot of that at Tennessee. You know, if you're going to mess up, at least just do it full speed. Uh, so we're going to send Swain over there in just a few minutes. <laughs> that's coming up next on the Volunteer Club Locker Room. You guys hang tight. The Volunteer Club Locker Room is brought to you by Ted Russell Ford. KOC, the official orthopedic partner of University of Tennessee Athletics, Better Mattress, Commercial Bank, Pilot, and KnoxvilleSmiles.com. You know, life happens, and damage to your home can be extremely stressful. That's why it's important to find someone who offers efficient, quality work with financing options. Exterior Home Solutions, they value not only family, but community. And they're who I call when life happens, and you should too. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. I'm an owner. I am an owner. I'm an owner. And we're locally owned. Gray Hodges has been serving the Knoxville area with quality craft-made cabinetry for over seven decades now. Craft-made manufactures high-quality kitchen and bath cabinets in a wide variety of finishes with modern and traditional styles to choose from. Visit one of our four locations and let a Gray Hodges owner show you the perfect craft-made design to fit your needs. Gray Hodges. Employee-owned. Service perfect. 
Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair is proud to be celebrating 70 years of serving East Tennessee. That's 70 years of old school customer service, trustworthy auto repair, and of course, great deals on tires. Each one of our five convenient East Tennessee locations feature family-friendly waiting areas, and you can schedule appointments and search for tires right on our website at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown values. For 70 years and counting, Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. When you're 6'4 and 320 pounds like I am, finding a mattress is a challenge. That's why I went to Better Mattress for help. It's not about just selling big store brands. At Better Mattress, it's about making a mattress that fits the person's body type and their personal preferences. Look, after a big football game, this body is tired and sore. I have to have a mattress that helps me rest and rejuvenate. Big O and Better Mattress. Good night, just got better. Your roof, it's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. Well, time now for the Food City Player Perspective. And Chris, if there's one place in the SEC, and boy, you, you watch Alabama, Georgia, and you understand, you better do it at the line of scrimmage. You better do it at the line of scrimmage. And we got two guys over here that are going to give us a, a good insight, guys that have played a lot of football. So, Jason, take over. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bryce Easton, Joshua Joseph here. And uh, give, give me your best moment, whether it was individually or as a team. A lot of big wins two years ago, but this year, a little bit different. What was the best moment for you guys individually? Or as a group. Okay. When we were playing South Carolina and Kamal hadn't got that interception, that was like one of the best moments for me. Like the energy was just completely different. Everybody was teed, so it was a very good moment for me. And that was a big one. What about yeah. you? I'm gonna go uh Texas A and L. Just that whole game and everybody the energy was just it's on us. You know what I'm saying? So just that feeling, having that pressure on our back just made everybody rise and come to the moment, so that was my favorite moment of the year. We knew entering the season that the defensive line was going to be really good. You guys, mm -hmm. a lot of depth, a lot of talent. Uh, used to Rodney Garner, you knew what to expect from him. Uh, but what, what game was it where you guys knew, like, oh, yeah, we, we real good. Like, we were really, really good. Was there a game that kind of stood out over the others? I'm going to go more so, like, practice. Okay. Because it'll be days where we, everybody just, like, like, say the ones go up. Everybody on there make a play. Then the twos come mm -hmm. up, they make a play. So it was just like it started early. We was like, man, we might be legit. But the game, I'm going to say, I'm going to go first game, like James yeah. out there making sacks and yeah. everybody making TFLs. Everybody was hype, having fun. So yeah. from the start, we just felt it, you know what I'm saying? Because we put a lot of work in. How, how difficult is it for you guys to – Keep the main thing the main thing. There's a lot of noise right now with the transfer portal, <laughs> uh, with recruiting, with NIL. I'm sure there's people in your ear back home, people telling you what you can do. And so it's more things to distract you. How do you keep the main thing the main thing? Simply just focus on what you're doing. Always be in the moment. Always keep God first, too. Like, he'll definitely guide you through everything you're going through. So that's how I do it personally. We got high school football from Atlanta. We got high school football from Memphis. Who, who gets the edge? I feel like we do. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, like every, we do. Atlanta, North Georgia, every part of Georgia really has the edge over every state in this country. So. Uh, that's that's us, pretty convincing. Nah, us back home, we don't care what they say. <laughs> Should they strap up against us and let us know, we'll never know. It's just like yeah. that. You guys going to be – upperclassmen, you're going to be upperclassmen next year. Mm -hmm. And so you know what this team needs, what this program needs. Obviously, you are a player, you're mm -hmm. not the coach, but are there some places on defense that you would like to see the team go uh, address in the transfer portal? Or you haven't thought about it yet? I haven't really thought about it yet. Okay. I just uh, – I want everybody that's there and that's going to be there, we can all just get better and try to be the best we can for the defense. And whoever comes joins the team, we're going to treat them like family. Yeah. We got this one goal. We just want to get better. That's what yeah. everybody, yeah. everywhere. We just want to win, man. Facts. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of wanting to win, <laughs> um, guys, you're gonna play against offense in the next game. Mm. <sighs> they're they're not that good offensively. Okay, mm. let's just be honest. How how do you approach that game? throwing away all the stuff you've seen in the regular season to make sure that you come out there with the right mindset to finish the season off with nine wins? 
I mean, me personally, I feel like defense versus defense, who better? Mm -hmm. And I'm rocking with my guys over them any day. So. You just got to win your ones. Facts, yeah. yeah. And I rock with my guys any day, so yeah. I'm just like, man, we got to be the best defense on that day to show who better. They defense, Iowa defense, or Tennessee defense, Tennessee defense, so mm -hmm. you know who we rocking with. Ronnie Garner is one of the most demanding assistant coaches in the country, one of the best mm -hmm. uh, defensive line coaches in the country, especially in the SEC. Uh, I'm sure there have been moments where you, when you first got him, you were like, eh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can handle Rodney. <laughs> but when was it that you said to yourself, okay, I got it. I know what he wants, and I'm giving him exactly what he wants. Does that moment stand out for you guys? Uh, for me, I'd say like midway through this season, I got to a point where I was just like, I got to focus on what I'm doing. When my time comes or when that opportunity comes for me, I got to take advantage of that and I got to prepare. And <clears throat> Coach G, he's always going to push you to be your best. And he, he, you know how he says it. It comes off in whatever type of way. So I just know to prepare myself and just always be ready for the opportunity. Um, Coach G, when he first got here, even one day, man, this was like Matt Butler never still here. <laughs> One day after pray, he had us just doing gas, was like just running, like just seeing who gonna quit or not, just like trying to get it out of us. That was a tough day, man. That's when I realized, dude, like he got to send the stick, sit, and y'all gonna either meet it or like y'all gotta go. That's how he yeah. rolled. That's how. That's what made me realize when he first got here, he got something going. He trying to get there. You either with it or not. That's what it is. We've been really fortunate enough to talk to a lot of young players throughout the season. Uh, give us a young player on defense. It could be the entire defense, or it could be a, a young player on the defensive line that mm -hmm. you are excited about getting a chance to see make some plays either spring or next season that you think they're coming. Really, Caleb Heron, and I expect him to make plays this bowl game, actually. Okay. Yeah, he's very versatile. He's good in coverage, and he can rush off the edge. Yeah. You got a, you got a young player for us. D line, my boy Jake, Jason Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Okay, he been working. Mm -hmm. Okay, he been working for real, and I think he gonna shock the world, like be something special. He, he hard, Jason Jenkins. Well, no it's, a, it's, a, it's about the it's about the trenches. These guys are certainly uh, better this year. One of the strongest parts of this football team. Big reason why Tennessee uh, is in this position to go get nine wins, guys. Yeah, I, yeah. Honestly, I, I love hearing. Yeah. No man from Memphis talks. He, he got to <laughs> everybody, and it sounds like he just wants to say, "My reminds me of my guy Daniel Brooks." So, yep. uh, just, just hearing that twang is awesome, man. That's so, very great. happy to have him part That's of our great. team. All right, the future looks good. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll wrap up the show when we come back. The Volunteer Club locker room is brought to you by the Volunteer Club. Real Vol fans are members of the Volunteer Club. Matlock Tire, Gray Hodges, Humana, D1 Training, and Aqua Clear Water Systems. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix is your view. Call the Glass Doctor, we'll fix your pains. Oh, yeah. I'm Dr. Mike Costa, Malone and Costa Dentistry. You can find us at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. I'm standing here in front of a dental robot. We're one of two dentists in the state of Tennessee that utilize this cutting edge technology. Do you have a broken tooth, a tooth that's in pain, or a denture that doesn't fit well? Maybe you're a little anxious? You can come in and we offer comprehensive sedation services and utilize this awesome technology to give you precise, accurate care. If you think this technology can help you, visit our website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. I look forward to helping you. Knoxville is my home. I was born and raised here, and I was blessed to raise my family here. This community is one that I'm proud to live in and serve every day. At Ted Russell Ford, for over 50 years, we've been Knoxville's hometown dealer. Helping our friends and neighbors own their first car or their dream car or truck has been our absolute pleasure. At Ted Russell Ford Lincoln, we will continue to serve our community. Because East Tennessee, you've always supported us. Thank you. Visit us at one of our two locations on Parkside Drive or Kingston Pike or online at tedrussellford.net. Community banking is about location and much more. It's about family. We reside in your community. We are a part of your community. At Commercial Bank, our commitment extends beyond the walls of our branches. It's displayed each day in the opportunities we provide, the money we give back, and the time we commit, all to help improve the lives of the people, families, and businesses that make our communities great. Commercial Bank, life made better.
I was the star around here, until Glass Doctor installed this perfect shower enclosure. Now they look at me like, well, there you go. Call the Glass Doctor, we'll fix your pains. Oh, yeah. So I sent this text out today and said, okay, player of the year is... And of course, Swain responded back to me directly and said, no, that's wrong. And so we went with Jalen Wright. It, when I look at someone that stood out, I mean, Jalen Wright was one of the best backs in the league. Um, he made history yeah. with over seven yards per carry. Yeah. As a back at Tennessee, all the great backs that we've had, I mean, it was hard not to, to point out Jalen Wright. So let me ask you this, uh, Chris. we got two minutes left here. We take a break. We come back January the 7th, and then at that point, we, we really dive into basketball and, of course, football recruiting and all that. But how important is this bowl game for Tennessee? And, and just for the offseason, is that the most important part of it? Yeah, you always want to carry momentum into the offseason, right? So you, you want to get another win. It's a, it's a quality opponent. Again, I was ranked. Right? They, they won 10 games. They went to the Big Ten Championship. So this will be important for us kind of going into the offseason to really take another step and get nine wins and kind of build that momentum kind of for next year. You win this, it's 20 wins in two years. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's pretty dang good. That's the best in so far. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dang good. So yeah. uh, you want that positive momentum entering next season. You go into the offseason, this is another dumb question, but I keep myself around having fire myself. I'm used to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got high school signing day coming up in a few weeks here. Then you got portal and all that stuff. Does it ever end? No. It's never, it's never. And then you're it's, recruiting it's, your own players to make sure ended. that they stay. It's never, never, never ending. I mean, that, that's, the day, that's the day of college football. Can't end. Keys to the game for the bowl game. Uh, Tony's in my ear telling us we got this. I did not realize we had it. Okay, so Chris, you go first. Keys to the bowl game. Yeah, I think Tennessee's got to do what they do. Play fast, start fast, run the football. Obviously, when we run the football, we're very successful. Defense be dominant. Mm -hmm. We heard those boys talk about it earlier. Whose defense is going to be better? Are we going to be better or is theirs going to be better? And then Joe Milton go out with the bang. Squirrel get he get healthy and play well, and then Ramel Keaton go out with the bang and have a huge day. Fifteen seconds. All the way Tennessee loses this game if you turn the ball over and make a ton of mistakes. And you, you just, just jinxed it. Thank yeah, you. You just be uh, against their powers, the advantage. Go, go win the game, man. You're a better football team. Yeah. Go win the game. Simple right, as that. Uh, We're well, gonna get in fifteen seconds. What do you say? We got fifteen <laughs> seconds left. Okay. So uh, as I said, we take a break here. We come back January the seventh. Uh, for everyone who's been a part of this, and I'm Mark Packer. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, go Vols against Iowa.